Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today we're going to be talking about all of Xtool's current laser engravers and the future one coming out as well. Which one may work best for you depending on your scenario. Uh, we're going to be mainly touching on these three for the most part that I've personally used because I want to give you guys a fair and accurate opinion. But we're also going to be touching uh, based on three others too. So the three main ones is going to be the F1, the S1 here behind me, and then also the M1 that I have in another location. I'll throw up some reference videos about things I talk about along the way. And then we're going to be touching base on the P2, which is their largest one, the um, D1 Pro, which is their open, um, their open styled one. And then we're going to be talking about the new F1 Ultra. It's a larger version of the F1 here. So let's go ahead and jump right into this and tell you guys, based on how you're going to use your laser, which one would be best for you. And each one has a pro to it, and uh, they all have some cons to it as well. So we're going to jump into that. We're going to talk about all of these along the way. So first up we're going to talk about is probably at the bottom of my list of recommendations, which they're all great machines, but the one that I recommend the least is the M1. The M1 is going to be an entry level machine. This is going to be for like crafters who just do an occasional cut. It's going to be either five or 10 Watts that it comes in. I believe it's around 10 Watts normally. Um, that's the, that's the machine that I have. Um, so that's going to cut some items, but you're going to have to do it multiple passes. It takes some time. Um, the other thing that I didn't really care about with the M1 was installing the air assist. You got to manually install that and route the hose around the inside of it. And then you have to wrap it a special way so the hose doesn't get caught up behind the actual um, fan unit of the laser head. Uh, mine did that. Uh, I've seen people 3D print um, ways to hold it in there. Um, that wasn't the greatest experience whenever you go to install that, but I do recommend getting an air assist if you do have an M1 for sure. Um, but with the M1, the M1 can do something that none of these other machines can do. It has a, like an actual blade in it. So it cuts out just like a Cricut machine, um, vinyl. So if you lay down vinyl on your table, you want to cut out a sticker, you can cut out stickers with that. So that is one huge benefit that that has over any other machine. So if you're looking to do actual vinyl cutting as well as laser engraving, the M1 is going to be a great option and it'll probably be the only option to do actual true vinyl cutting with that's not toxic or hazardous. So next up, what we're going to be talking about is the S1 here behind me. The S1 is one of their newer machines that came out around October. Um, this machine has been great. I really like this machine. Um, with this machine though, there is no camera. Like I forgot to mention, the M1 does have a camera system, so you can do a camera alignment. But with the S1, there is no camera. You'll have to do um, like a dual point alignment system where you'll take a, uh, um, you'll push a button to do autofocus in one area and then you move it to another area and everything in between is going to be your actual focus area that you're going to engrave on. Um, hopefully that makes sense. I did an actual video on that. If you want to see that in depth and detail, if you're looking at the S1, check that out as well. Um, but overall, the S1 is a really great machine. It has swappable laser heads. Um, you can go to a 2 watt infrared, a 20 watt um, diode, a 40 watt diode. So um, who knows, they may even come out with future things for that. It's a, it's a really cool unit, and the actual twin point alignment that I was saying, the precision point, is uh, more accurate than a camera um, if you do it correctly. So overall, that is a great machine. Um, it comes with multiple options, like there's a riser base, there's a honeycomb tray, there's the air assist that's on top, but this air assist is a lot easier to install. It's just plug it in the back. You don't have to run anything extra like the M1. They also have the rotary tool, as you can see back behind me. Um, and then there's also a safety assist, air assist um, uh, fire extinguisher. So it'll flood CO2 gas in there if it detects a fire, and that'll protect your entire unit. So there's all sorts of options for the S1. Um, the S1, with all the accessories, does get up there a little bit in price range. And we'll talk about that more here in just a second. Um, 
The third laser we're going to talk about is the F1 here. The F1 is going to be for users who have a smaller cut area. So um, this is going to be for like jewelry. This is going to be for um, coasters. It, it crushes coasters. I can do a coaster in one minute flat on this thing. This thing is going to be your fastest laser that they have from Xtool. Um, it's portable, you can carry it anywhere. So as long as you don't need a really large cutting area, this is gonna be my most recommended machine out of the three because you have uh, two laser heads inside. You have the two watt diode and then the, I believe it's a 10 watt, um, or a 10 watt diode and the um, two watt infrared. I'll correct that if I'm wrong. Um, and this is gonna be one of your fastest uh, machines out there. Uh, I've had nothing but great success with it. Um, I highly recommend this. This is going to be a budget friendly one too because everything's all built in one. Um, so that's that's awesome. You don't have any extra fees uh, or anything like that. You can get a slide attachment that attaches to the front to make this engraving area a little bit longer, but it's not going to be depth wise. It's only going to be length wise. It's about this long here. Um, so you can extend that a little bit, but like I said earlier in this video, they do have the new F1 Ultra, which is a bigger version. It comes like way up here and about out here to here. Um, so it's a lot bigger. It's almost like the size of a desktop unit, um, like a smaller desktop unit. So uh, that, that'll be something exciting to look into. You can actually put a $100 deposit down for the new F1 Ultras. Um, if it's as good of a budget um, package as this is, I could only recommend that one too. And that one has an automatic con conveyor belt, it looks like. So that looks really cool. Um, this one is great for like, um, like I said, like uh, necklaces or keychains, anything metal, this one is awesome for. Now, if you need a larger area, like I said, the S1 is a great option for that as well. If you need a larger area, but it's not gonna cut or, or it's not gonna engrave, I should say, as fast as this one here. Um, this one isn't really gonna cut material that well, but it does cut stuff with the diode. It just takes longer because that weaker laser head in there. Um, now with all that out of the way, let's talk about the D1 Pro. The D1 Pro is an open styled laser. Um, there's no actual enclosure. So all the smoke is gonna go everywhere. Um, and it's just like a basic laser, kind of like what the M1 is, but without the uh, enclosure. Now you can get a rotary tool with the D1 and the M1. I've done videos on the M1 with that as well. So if you need a rotary, um, those three machines will have it. The S1, uh, actually most of their machines, if I think about it, the S1, the F1, the M1, the D1, and the P2 all have rotary machines. So that's an awesome option for any of their machines that you're getting if you're wanting to do cups. Um, now the P2, uh, speaking of that, that is their largest machine. That is a CO2 powered machine. Um, so that's gonna be a lot stronger. I believe it's 55 watt CO2. Um, that's gonna be even more powerful than the Glowforge that I have back behind me here. That one's gonna do like clear acrylic. Um, it can um, engrave on a curve um as well the s1 back here can do a curve as well but not as big of one as the p2 um so if you need a large area and you want a lot of power the p2 is definitely a cool looking machine i personally haven't got to try it myself so i don't want to steer you in the wrong direction but that looks like the overall amazing pick to pick if you could afford it but it is a lot more expensive so just keep that in mind if you're looking best bang for your buck, the F1 is awesome. Um, and then hopefully the F1 Ultra coming out is gonna be even cooler. These are gonna be my number one pick here is the F1 or F1 Ultra. If, especially if you do craft shows, you can take this thing anywhere. Um, my number two pick based on my usability would be the S1 here. But if I could pick again and I could actually um, get my hands on a P2, their biggest machine, that would probably be my second pick, maybe even tied with the first pick, but I don't know the usability on that since I haven't had personal hands-on experience with it. Um, and then below the S1 would be the uh, M1, 
that I was talking about, and then below the M1, I'll probably put down the D1 Pro because just because it's an open styled laser, and I don't really care for open styled lasers to have smoke going everywhere. But that's kind of my ranking. Um, first would be the F1 or F1 Ultra, then the P2, the S1, the M1, and then the D1 Pro. And they all have their own usabilities, and hopefully I help clarify what would work best for you based on your um, business or your needs. Um, if you have any questions about any of these, let me know in the comments below. I'll try and answer anything that I can. And then I did put affiliate links to any of these machines if you want to purchase one as well and help out our channel. Um, other than that, uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one.